Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to do another Lightroom tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tethering, some of the tools and new features in Lightroom 4 that are now available. If you launch the uh, tethering dialog, you'll get this interface. And what this interface is, is just a bar. It has a shutter control over here. You can apply develop settings over here. Gives you some feedback on your aperture, ISO, and f-stop. Uh, your shutter speed, so your white balance, you know, some of the features you'd expect from tethering. But you'll notice that this bar, it's kind of big. Say you're shooting in the field on a laptop, the thing's taking up a lot of real estate because as you take images, they're going to show up in this center portion of Lightroom, and there's really not a good place to put this. You know, if you put it here, it, it's covering up your film strip, and you put it over here, it's covering up your develop information. So what they've done in Lightroom 4 is if you hold down the Alt key, and the Alt key is the Option key on a Mac, you'll notice that this X, it turns to a minus sign. So if you click that, this little button tucks out of the way. So it makes it a lot more manageable than in previous versions. Some other things they did is they allowed you the option to put in an overlay. Say you're shooting for a client, and the client is having a magazine made with some of the images you're doing, you can actually create a magazine cover and put it as an overlay as you shoot the images will appear with that overlay so let's look at that if you click on the view button here and you go down to layout overlay you can choose your file and I'll tell you how to set a file up here in just a minute but you will click on show overlay and if you look over here there's a shortcut it's control alt o o as in overlay and on Mac that would be command option o so we'll click on this and we have an overlay here. If you hold down the control key and the control key is the command key on a Mac, you can move this dialog around. You can grab the corners and resize it. So say if I needed to put her face, you know, somewhere centered on the on the uh overlay, we could do that. And you can zoom in to make it fit or fill um, later on. So uh, some other features you could do is uh, you can control the background. If you want it to be a matte black or gray, you can control the opacity of the overlay. Okay, And if once everything's set, if you just use your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can actually change the images. So we'll fill this in a little bit, move it down, and uh, kind of give you an idea of what this would look like as you're shooting. Image would come in, image would come in, image would come in. And again, if you need to to re you know adjust this to show the client, you just hold down that the control key, resize it, reshape it, and you're good to go. Now a little bit about the file types. When you create your file, you can create it in Photoshop, and that's how I did, and you'll save it as a PNG. However, since it needs to be transparent, you need to delete that white background the bottom layer when you create your doc your new file or you can in the dialog instead of creating a white background you can create the file as a transparency background also if you're in fireworks you can do the same thing and just save it as a PNG and it will have a transparent background then you would just navigate to that folder under view where it says find or choose your image it would pull up your files that you made and you'll notice that this one's a PNG, uh, PDF no actually this is a PSD and this one here is a medium and this one's a small size PNG so there we go you just click the one you want you click open and it will load it in and there you have it so thanks for visiting my blog today and until next time we'll see you soon